It's been more than 15 years since the release of the first generation iPhone. Literally billions of Apple's mobile devices have been sold during that time, with technical improvements and constant upgrades making for an ever-changing and improving user experience. With the recent release of the iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, what better time to look back at the iPhone's incredible achievements? This is the evolution of the iPhone. Before the iPhone was released, the most popular mobile phone was the Nokia 1200, but there were also more advanced phones like the Motorola Q. However, in 2007, Apple designed a device that would completely revolutionize the mobile phone industry. This is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Well, the iPhone definitely was revolutionary, and the introduction of the iPhone basically meant the funeral for Nokia. The iPhone was introduced as a product that combines three devices. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device, and we are calling it iPhone. The first iPhone was released in 2007, and unlike many of its competitors, like the Motorola Q, it did not feature a QWERTY keyboard. The iPhone was entirely different. It only had one button and a 3.5-inch widescreen display. It works like magic. You don't need a stylus. It's far more accurate than any touch display that's ever been shipped. It ignores unintended touches. It's super smart. You can do multi-finger gestures on it, and boy, have we patented it. So. Another major feature that made the iPhone so successful were the applications and the easy-to-use software. Software that's at least five years ahead of what's on any other phone. The iPhone had a two megapixel camera, good performance, and multiple storage options. All this came at a high starting price of $499. For this amount of money, you could almost buy 10 Nokias. Besides being cheap, the Nokia had one other advantage. It was almost indestructible. The iPhone, on the other hand, uh, not so much. Despite this, the iPhone became a massive success, and 6.1 million units were sold. Fun fact, did you know that Apple made the first iPhone prototype in 1983? Back then, it wasn't a smartphone, but a landline phone with a touchscreen computer and a stylus. Steve Jobs was not a big fan of the stylus, though, or even buttons, it seems. And thankfully, technology had advanced enough by 2007 that the iPhone could offer a more intuitive and easier to use touchscreen without the need for a stylus. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them, yuck. So in 2008, Apple introduced the iPhone 3G, which they described as twice as fast at half the price. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing the new iPhone. While the first iPhone was $499, the 3G seemed much cheaper with the suggested retail price of $199 for the 8 gigabyte model and $299 for the 16 gigabyte model. That price was reduced further to $99 with the release of the 3GS. However, the cut price 3G model then required a two-year contract or $499 without one and hidden fees were not warmly received by critics. One of the 3G's main features was being able to connect to 3G networks. This significantly improved the speed of mobile internet. It was also the first iPhone with a built-in GPS and the App Store. In 2009, Apple released the iPhone 3GS, with the S standing for speed. Due to a new chip and double the RAM, Apple claimed that the 3GS was twice as fast as its predecessor. It also came with an improved battery. It allowed users to watch videos for up to 10 hours. The camera was upgraded to 3 megapixels and it had 32 gigabytes storage option, but the starting price was $599. The iPhone 3GS became a huge success. Within the first weekend, over 1 million units were sold. Fun fact, 
Originally, the iPhone was going to have a plastic screen. However, when Jobs had a prototype in his pocket, the screen was scratched by his keys. That's why the screen was replaced by glass iPhone had its first major redesign in 2010 with the iPhone 4. Compared to the previous iPhones, it was thinner, had sharper edges, and a stainless steel frame. This is, beyond a doubt, the most precise thing, one of the most beautiful things we've ever made. It also came with a front camera so people could use FaceTime and make selfies. It was also the first iPhone with a high-resolution retina screen. The rear camera was improved to 5 megapixels, and the RAM was doubled. The iPhone 4 became yet another massive success, and an estimated 50 million units have been sold. Sadly, on October 5, 2011, the iPhone's brilliant creator, Steve Jobs, passed away at the age of 56. He will forever be remembered as a man who inspired millions with his passion and creativity while creating innovative products adopted and admired around the world. Following Tim Cook's appointment as CEO of Apple in 2011, the next iPhone to be launched was the 4S. This time, the S did not stand for speed, but for Siri. Hey Siri, what is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies, and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies, and you are sad that you have no friends. Wow. I just got roasted by Siri. Do you think it will snow today? It sure looks like snow today. Say hello to Siri on the most amazing iPhone yet. The iPhone 4S had a new Apple A5 chip that allowed for up to seven times faster graphics. It also came with a better camera that could record in full HD, and it had an option for 64 gigabytes of storage. The iPhone 4S became an even bigger success than its predecessor, selling an estimated 60 million units in total. We want to make a much better phone. iPhone 5 is the result of this approach. It's been completely redesigned. And for the first time ever, we've increased the size of the display. Next came the iPhone 5 with a bigger 4-inch display. The new lightning connector made the iPhone 5 charge faster. It was also 18% thinner and 20% lighter than the iPhone 4S. Apple claimed it was the thinnest smartphone in the world at 7.6 millimeters. And that's not all. It also had a faster chip. We're also introducing an all-new Apple-designed A6 chip. It delivers performance that's up to twice as fast as the previous generation. The iPhone 5 also had a better front camera and the RAM was improved to one gigabyte. Fun fact, the App Store with all of its apps are, of course, very important for the success of the iPhone, but did you know there are almost two million apps available for download? In 2013, the iPhone 5C was released alongside the more powerful iPhone 5S. The 5C replaced the original iPhone 5's aluminum shell with a hard-coated polycarbonate one, allowing it to be sold in a wide range of colors and for $100 cheaper. Rather than continuing to sell the original iPhone 5 at a lower cost, the 5C replaced it entirely. The iPhone 5S came with Touch ID, which uses a fingerprint scanner located inside the home button as an easier and more secure way to unlock the phone. The Sentry uses advanced capacitive touch to take, in essence, a high-resolution image of your fingerprint from the sub-epidermal layers of your skin. It then intelligently analyzes this information with a remarkable degree of detail and precision. It also had an improved battery and was up to twice as fast due to the A7 chip. The iPhone 5S was the world's first phone with a 64-bit SoC, meaning system on a chip, which was an absolute game changer. It meant a huge leap forward in terms of performance, speed, and RAM management. The 5S was a roaring success. Over 163 million units have sold. The iPhone got bigger and better in 2014 with the introduction of the iPhone 6. It was the first iPhone to have Retina HD and a storage option for 128 gigabytes. Buyers could now choose between two different screen types. With the iPhone 6 Plus having a larger 5.5 inch display and an improved battery, plus a $100 added price tag. With iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, we've taken the time to do the deep engineering, to design and develop two entirely new iPhones. More significant than just bigger and better displays, 
the design has never been so compelling, undoubtedly making this the biggest advance in the iPhone since we launched the original. Fun fact, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus became the best-selling smartphones of all time. In total, a whopping 222 million units have been sold. The iPhone 6S and 6S Plus were released in 2015. Apple stated that the new A9 chip had up to 70% more CPU and 90% more graphics performance compared to its predecessor. Another key introduction was that of 3D Touch, which enabled pressure-sensitive touch inputs and allowed the device to distinguish between normal and more forceful presses. The camera shoots 4K video now, which changes how your movies look. Nice. Even selfies have changed. Now your screen is the flash. That's gonna get like a million likes. Thanks. Actually, photos themselves have changed. They move now. You just touch them. The iPhone 6S also had a better front and back camera, as well as two gigabytes of RAM. Besides the larger screen, the iPhone 6S Plus also had a better battery, but it was $100 more expensive. The first generation iPhone SE, or special edition, was released in 2016 and it was basically a cheaper and smaller version of the iPhone 6S. It had the same processor as the 6S, but had a screen size of just 4 inches. The iPhone SE's slogan was, a big step for small. The front camera was downgraded, but it came at a starting price of just $399. We have created a product that is the most deliberate evolution of our original founding design. In the same year, the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus were released. The headphone jack was removed. Now you had to use a lightning cable headphone jack or use the wireless AirPods that were released at the same time. It also became the first water-resistant iPhone model. The front camera was improved and it came with a 256 gigabyte storage option. The iPhone 7 Plus didn't have one, but two cameras at the back. These dual cameras considerably improved the quality of photos and videos when zooming in. The iPhone 7 Plus also had increased RAM. It was sold for $769. Fun fact, in 2016, Apple managed to sell its billionth iPhone. If you thought that was impressive, wait till the end to find out how many iPhones have been sold in total. In 2017, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus were released. It had wireless charging. This means that the phone can be charged through the glass cover on the back of the phone by placing it on a wireless pad. It also came with the A11 Bionic chip, making it about 30% faster than the iPhone 7. The price of the iPhone 8 was increased by $50. The larger iPhone 8 Plus had an improved dual camera, but it did cost $100 more. The iPhone 8 and 8 Plus have sold more than 86 million units, making it the fifth best-selling smartphone of all time. The iPhone 9 never existed. It was skipped to make way for the iPhone X, which, if you know your Roman numerals, stands for the number 10. Indeed, the iPhone X marked the 10th anniversary of the release of the original iPhone. The X was the first iPhone that didn't have a home button. This made it possible to have a larger display on a smaller phone. It was also the first to have an OLED screen. The custom OLED panel was engineered to fold and seamlessly combine with the external surfaces. Mechanical buttons give way to touch and gestures. There's no home button. A single swipe takes you to the home screen. Face ID was added, enabling you to unlock your phone using facial recognition. To let you unlock your phone with a glance. We call this Face ID. It maps the unique geometry of your face with over 30,000 invisible dots. Your iPhone now recognizes you, even in the dark, and will adapt to your physical changes. This makes your face your secure password. Or it could capture the look of shock and dismay on people's faces as the iPhone X's price tag was revealed to be an eye-watering $999 going to be priced from $999. iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max. They are stunning. The best iPhones we've ever made by a long shot. One year later, in 2018, the iPhone XS and XS Max were released. 
iPhone XS is completely uncompromising. The expansive Super Retina display with OLED delivers vivid brightness, true blacks, and high dynamic range content. iPhone XS Max has the largest display ever on an iPhone. Both came with the very advanced A12 Bionic chip. The A12 Bionic chip is the smartest and most powerful chip ever in a smartphone. Its next generation neural engine dedicates machine learning to everything from augmented reality to photography. The iPhone XS featured a 5.85 inch OLED display, increased RAM, and a better battery life compared to the iPhone X. Lasting up to 30 minutes longer, the XS Max had a larger 6.4-inch OLED display and a battery life that lasted 1.5 hours longer than the original iPhone X. Unlike the X, both the XS and XS Max came with a storage option of 512 gigabytes. The 64-gigabyte version of the XS cost $999, whereas the XS Max was $100 more. Fun fact, Apple is dominating the smartphone market at this point. As of November 2018, the company had sold over 2.2 billion iPhones. iPhone XR integrates the same breakthrough technologies. The iPhone XR followed and became Apple's best-selling model in 2018. It was available in six different colors and featured a 6.1-inch liquid retina display. The fact that it was slightly larger yet significantly cheaper than the iPhone X probably helped to boost sales. The all-screen liquid retina display is the most advanced LCD in a smartphone and the most color accurate in the industry. The XR was considered an affordable or budget flagship model upon its release. Although it still wasn't cheap, the base 64 gigabyte version had a starting price of $749. Among the drawbacks of the XR were its single rear camera. The advanced single camera system combined with machine learning allows iPhone XR to recognize people, map subjects, and add depth. It lacked the second telephoto lens and the absence of features such as 3D touch. In fact, the XS and XS Max were the final models of the iPhone to feature 3D touch. In 2019, the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max were released. The iPhone 11 offers a night mode for better images in low light conditions, and it has a wide camera feature. The front camera was improved to 12 megapixels. Introducing iPhone 11 Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro is the first phone to feature the Pro designation, and it was faster than ever before. The Apple designed A13 Bionic chip is the most ambitious to date. It's the fastest chip ever in a smartphone, yet more efficient than ever. It also came with as many as three cameras on the back. The triple camera system combines cutting edge technology with the extraordinary ease of iPhone. This did not only allow for better images, but also made it possible to capture the highest quality video of any smartphone and supports a 4K video resolution up to 60 frames per second. The iPhone 11 Pro has an impressive 6 gigabytes of RAM and was sold for $999. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a larger display and is sold for $1,099. The second generation iPhone SE was released in 2020. The SE 2 was 30% larger than its predecessor and had a bigger 4.7 inch display. To improve visuals, it had a True Tone Retina HD display. Having the same dimensions as the iPhone 8, the SE was much faster due to the latest A13 Bionic chip, the fastest smartphone chip at the time. While the second generation SE featured a 12 megapixel rear camera, just like its predecessor, it was improved with new features such as autofocus, image stabilization, and a quad LED True Tone flash. Other improvements included the 7 megapixel front camera and 3 gigabytes of RAM. It had an optional storage option of 256 gigabytes, twice as much as the first generation SE. The smartphone was among the smallest mainstream in production smartphones at the time of its release. The Verge declared the second generation SE a nail in the coffin for other small phones. 
Thus, the second generation iPhone SE was significantly better than the first generation, but the starting price stayed the same at $399. Fun fact, due to its low price point and impressive specifications, the second generation iPhone SE turned out to be a massive success. In fact, estimated sales in the first year were around 24 million. The iPhone 12 and 12 mini were introduced in 2020. The iPhone 12 is designed to be 11% thinner, 15% smaller, and 16% lighter than the iPhone 11. The iPhone 12 is also the first iPhone to support 5G. Today is the beginning of a new era for iPhone. Today, we're bringing 5G to iPhone. 5G is set to change the world with radically faster speeds. Apple also introduced Ceramic Shield, which makes the screen much tougher. Ceramic Shield goes beyond glass by adding a new high temperature crystallization step, which grows nanoceramic crystals within the glass matrix to dramatically improve toughness. Ceramic Shield has four times better drop performance, meaning if the iPhone 12 falls, it has four times the chance of surviving without cracking. It also received a new A14 chip, which significantly increases the speed of the CPU and GPU. The A14 also allows for a dramatic increase in machine learning capabilities. The iPhone 12 was more expensive than the iPhone 11 with a starting price of $799. While the iPhone 12 comes with a 6.1-inch display, the 12 mini has a 5.4-inch display. It was also $100 cheaper. Fun fact! Apple is the largest company in the world and is valued at over $2 trillion. In 2020, Apple generated $274 billion in revenue, of which 50% came from iPhone sales. This is iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max were the flagship smartphones in the 14th generation of the iPhone. A new and improved Pro camera system makes the 12 Pro the photographer's iPhone. iPhone 12 Pro smashes the benchmark for highest quality video in a smartphone. All this and more make iPhone 12 Pro the most powerful iPhone ever. The iPhone 12 Pro has a slightly larger screen compared to the iPhone 11 Pro. It came in at the same starting price of $999. The iPhone 12 Pro Max has a 6.7-inch display, the largest display ever on an iPhone. It has a starting price of $1,099. Today, we are thrilled to introduce our next generation of iPhone. Here it is. This is iPhone 13. In September 2021, the iPhone 13 and 13 mini were released. The iPhone 13 comes with the A15 Bionic chip, which has the fastest CPU and GPU of all smartphones. It also has faster 5G speeds and the most advanced dual camera. A new camera feature called Cinematic Mode allows for automatic changes in focus so that you can film impressive movie quality action scenes. The battery life of the iPhone 13 was extended to offer 2.5 hours more compared to the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 launched with a price of $799 for the 128GB model, but also offers a version with storage up to 512GB. The iPhone 13 mini had a launch price of $699 for 128GB. Its performance is very similar to the full-sized model, only it features a 5.4-inch display rather than a 6.1-inch display. A faster chip. A high-performance display. And the biggest upgrade ever to the camera. Introducing iPhone 13 Pro. It's ready for... 
The iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max came out at the same time in 2021, and upon release, they were the most advanced smartphones in the world. Both have a larger battery life, allowing for an improved battery life compared to their predecessors. The 13 Pro lasting an additional 1.5 hours, while the iPhone 13 Pro Max adds 2.5 hours. The 13 Pro also included three new cameras. According to Apple, it is, quote, our biggest camera advancement ever. It allows for much higher quality photos and videos, further improving upon iPhone's cinematic mode and allowing for stunning images even in darker settings without much light. The iPhone 13 Pro has a 6-inch OLED screen with a resolution of 2.9 megapixels and, for the first time, features a variable 10 to 120 Hz Pro Motion display, meaning it is capable of providing smooth motion but can be adjusted to preserve battery. More powerful, more intelligent, and a world of cinematic possibilities. iPhone 13 Pro. Another first was the one terabyte storage option, which cost $1,499 at launch. The 128 gigabyte model was priced at $999. The 6.7 inch iPhone 13 Pro Max added an extra $100 to those price points. The third and latest generation iPhone SE was announced in March 2022. Just like the iPhone 13, it uses the toughest glass available for both the front and the back. The size of the third generation iPhone SE is the same as its predecessor, and it also features a 4.7 inch Retina HD display. However, the smartphone is much faster since it has the latest A15 Bionic chip. Apple even stated the third generation iPhone SE is faster than all the competition at any price. Another significant change is that it can connect to 5G networks. The battery life has up to two hours more video playback time than the second generation iPhone SE. Just like its predecessor, it has a 12 megapixel rear camera, seven megapixel front camera, three gigabytes of RAM, and storage options up to 256 gigabytes. The price is slightly increased as it comes with a starting price of $429. Wow. The 16th and latest generation of iPhones, namely the iPhone 14 and its variants, was released on the 16th of September 2022, with the iPhone 14 Plus coming out one month later. The iPhone 14 marks the first time that Apple has completely done away with physical SIM cards, now using eSIM that allows you to activate and transfer your phone plan digitally. An eSIM is a digital SIM that eliminates the need for physical SIM card. Satellite connectivity now means that if you ever find yourself stranded without a signal and in need of help, an emergency SOS feature via satellite can connect you with assistance. Allowing you to deliver critical information to emergency services in places where Wi-Fi and cell service are unavailable. Hikers can also use the feature to connect with friends and family and share their location throughout the Find My app. Another new safety feature in the iPhone 14 is crash detection, which, as it implies, can detect if you've been in a car crash and automatically contact emergency services if you're unresponsive. It's not all about keeping you safe, though. Other upgrades include improvements to the rear-facing camera and having autofocus on the front-facing camera for the first time. The iPhone 14 Plus, which replaces the mini variation, offers a larger display of 6.7 inches, making it more suitable for playing games and watching your favorite shows. A 128GB 14 Plus costs $899 at launch, $100 more than the standard iPhone 14. Storage options up to 512GB are available. Fun fact, the iPhone 14 is available in five different colors, including product red. With every red iPhone sold, a contribution will be made to a company named Red, which supports people for global health emergencies like AIDS and COVID. Apple and Red have raised $270 million in the fight against global pandemics, 
An impressive 13.8 million people with HIV have been provided with life-saving treatments due to Apple's support. It's time to go beyond what a smartphone can do. The 14 and the 14 Plus will continue to make the most of Apple's strong A15 Bionic chip, but the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max will feature Apple's most powerful chip yet, the A16. The processing speed of the A16 is said to be insanely fast. What's more, they have storage options up to one terabyte and include ultra-smooth ProMotion capabilities, as well as an always-on functionality for quickly reading important information while the phone is locked. This keeps essential information available for the moments where all you need is just a glance. The latter should result in longer battery life, as viewing information will require less power. The higher-end models also have the new Dynamic Island feature, which dramatically changes both the look and feel of the phone. The controversial display notch is replaced by a much smaller camera in the front. This isn't just an aesthetic change. This area of the screen can now expand and contract in real time to show you things like incoming calls, timers, and important notifications, all while taking up far less screen space than usual. For people who like to multitask, it's sure to boost productivity. Plus, it looks really fun to use. The iPhone 14 Pro will have the best camera to date, the main camera being an impressive 48 megapixels and offering substantially more detail than the 13 Pro. Features like action mode and even better low-light performance will appeal to avid photographers. Looking at the most impressive iPhone camera system yet, in a major leap, the iPhone 14 Pro's main camera has a 48 megapixel quad pixel sensor. It captures breathtaking detail, depth, and color, and now gives you the equivalent of four Pro lenses at the ready. The starting price for the iPhone 14 Pro remains at $999, while the Pro Max will cost $1,099 for the 128 gigabyte version. It's amazing how far the iPhone has advanced and continues to progress year after year. I wonder what it will be capable of five or ten years from now. One thing's for sure, there's still more to come from the incredible evolution of the iPhone.